In this video, we will look at the parts of the dissecting microscope and how to set it up and use it. Please note, while the basic parts are common to most dissecting microscopes, their specific design and location may differ from what you see here. Be sure you can identify all of these parts on your own microscope before use. Beginning at the top, we have the two ocular lenses, also called the eyepieces, which you look through to see your slide. The left ocular has an adjustment ring near its base. This ring is used to help compensate for differences in vision between your eyes. The distance between oculars can be easily adjusted by simply moving the oculars together or apart. The oculars are located on top of the binocular tube. At the side may be a clamping screw. Loosening this allows the binocular tube to rotate. For the purposes of this lab, the clamping screw should be left tight. A loose binocular tube can allow parts to fall off, damaging the microscope or you or your sample. Below the oculars is the objective lens adjustment knob. This can be rotated to change objective lenses. Your dissecting scope has three objectives which give 6.4 times, 16 times, and 40 times total magnification. Notice that the highest magnification on this microscope is about the same as the lowest magnification on the compound microscopes we use. All of these parts are attached to the arm of the microscope. Near the arm, you will see the focus adjustment knob. When you turn this, the body of the microscope moves up and down over the base. In the base, you will notice a stage plate. This disc is black on one side and white on the other, and it can be flipped over depending on what kind of specimen you are looking at and what background you would like. These dissecting microscopes don't have their own light source, so you can use the lamp on your bench to provide light if you require it to view your specimen. If you need to move your specimen, you will have to do this by hand, so it is often easier to put your specimen on a slide or piece of paper towel so it can be easily moved under the lenses. Some dissecting scopes may have a built-in light source or a continuous zoom to go between magnifications instead of distinct levels of magnification. As with the compound microscope, it is easiest to begin on low power, center your specimen, bring it into focus, and then move on to higher powers. If you have any issues with your own microscope, either watch this video again or ask a TA or instructor for assistance. 